Okay, welcome back to the CES International News Stage. Our next product pitch is from Nick Graves, who's going to be talking to us about the Halo Surround from Yule Anderson. Nick, over to you. Thanks so much, Joe. So I'm representing a musician, Yule Anderson, uh, currently resident in Denmark, but uh, Yule has been addressing a challenge that he came across in Copenhagen when recording a concert in the Tivoli Hall and realizing that his engineer wearing headphones could not hear the 5.1 surround sound that the concert was being recorded in. So he set to work on this. Bit of background, Yule Anderson, musician, uh, grew up in California, San Francisco, traveled the world. You see him with a lot of uh, well-known faces. You probably spot some of these faces as they go through. Uh, yeah, that's Mick and Ron. Uh, that's uh, John Malkovich, he's done a few uh, film scores with John. Uh, we've got uh, Morgan Freeman, uh, Will Smith, uh, even Thabo Mbeki, part of his work with Amnesty International. So Yul has, has been around. Ultimately though, Yul is a musician and that's where his heart lies, which is why this challenge of mobile surround sound was one that he wanted to address. So. Yul looked at this, he spent a lot of time working on it, and he recognized that what he was doing fell in line with what was happening in the industry, the mobile explosion. This chart I'll acknowledge from Business Insider, but just highlights how mobile is all around us, is changing the world, that smartphones have dominated, wearables uh, starting to emerge. This is a mobile world. And along with that, of course, comes mobile audio. And mobile audio is uh, about headphones, it's about wearables, and increasingly content is about online video and gaming, all perfect for surround sound. So how can we deliver mobile surround sound? What are the key questions that we need to address for that? Now, we reckon there are three key questions. How do we do it, firstly? Secondly, concerns about hearing loss, and increasingly with in-ear ear, uh, earphones, uh, particularly outside Europe where, where volume levels are not regulated, then we would forecast that, that hearing loss concerns are going to emerge and there will be uh, some litigation to emerge. Now let's wait and see. And then from a vendor perspective, how do you stand out from the crowd in this immensely crowded headphones market? Uh, you know, Apple stepped in by buying Beats, but you look across the show floor here now, there are hundreds of headphone vendors. It is so tough to stand out. So those are three questions that Yule thinks we can address with his technology. So introducing mobile surround sound from Yule Anderson, what he's called tube surround or halo surround. What is halo surround? Well, halo surround is a technology that uses a combination of cranial induction and multiple transducers delivered also through closed loop ear buffer input to the ears. So you get a surround sound both through the skull directly and through your ears. It's a fascinating idea, but does it work? Well, I've used them and let's be fair, they don't look great, particularly as a prototype. I have one here. Would you be seen wearing this on the high street? Well, I don't know. Perhaps not yet, but the technology is there. And some of the testimonials that have emerged from audiologists have said, this really delivers. This looks bizarre, but it delivers. Uh, and some of the assessments that have been made, uh, look at some of the prototypes that you could take this technology towards. Now, okay, let's be fair. These are not products. These are ideas. This is saying, well, okay, it looks bizarre, but if we put it inside a hat, put it inside a, a, a cap, a pair of sunglasses, then this thing could be a viable proposition. You've got the technology, you have the audio sound, surround sound through the cranial induction, uh, safe audio through the ears, uh, and put it into a great design, then you have a great solution. Testimonials, pretty much they all say the same thing. This is bizarre, it looks bizarre, but hey, it sounds great, and it really does deliver surround sound on the go. The BBC looked at this some years ago, uh, and a few other people have had a look at it. That's on YouTube. Uh, we can give you the URL if you need it. So where do we stand today? This, let's be fair, is not a product that you're going to be able to buy at the show or buy uh, any time in the next few weeks. But what we are looking for, what Yule is looking for, is partners, major partners, to take on the license, maybe even to take on the whole patent, and turn this into a viable product that delivers the quality, but in a style that makes this the next Beats solution.
This is surround sound. This is Halo surround from Yul Anderson. Thank you very much. Very interesting. So can you tell us a little bit more about where you are with the product now? Obviously, this is a prototype, and you've been working on it for a few years. Sure. Um, what's the next step for you guys? Well, in terms of the, the prototypes, there are a number of different prototypes that Yul, Yul has put together. They're all pretty much handmade, and you get a sense this is not a, uh, uh, you know, a mass-produced uh, uh, product here. This one is, is one of the very original designs with quite a, a large diameter tube. That, that holds the transducers. That tube can be much smaller and can be flexible. Uh, so Yule has also put prototypes together, which you saw some of the images there, uh, with uh, sunglasses, for example, with quite a narrow tube behind, which becomes much more wearable. These are prototypes. The technology is there, but the, uh, the product requires a, a, a vendor to, to, uh, to take this on and turn it into something that is marketable. Uh, let's be clear, Yule is a musician. He's not a vendor, he's not a business guy, he's not a, a technology guy, he's a musician. That's his strength. He loves music, he loves the sound of music, and he loves the technology that he's put together with his audio engineers behind Halo Surround. But he's not the guy who, who will take this to be the next Beats, the next uh, 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 Bose out there. And in terms of use cases, obviously we're talking about surround sound. Naturally, we think of movies and games. Um, is there a tip? particular type of audio where this is really going to come into its own? Can it work with music where traditionally you just want two-channel sound? Uh, it absolutely it can. And even if you're taking a two-channel input, and, and uh, what we have here is, is yes, a five-channel feed converted into a, a, a traditional two-channel channel input. Uh, a, 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 a music does sound uh, that much better put through the cranial and audio input. So absolutely there is value uh, in listening to just music. Uh, but clearly, where you really benefit from the surround sound is going to be gaming, is going to be movies. Uh, and looking at some of the, 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 the stats for online video, it's a huge growth area. Mobile video, huge growth yeah. area. So the opportunity is there, there's no question. One thing I would say, I mean, here we're looking at a, a totally analog uh, solution, but we can imagine a vendor taking this and turning this into a digital you know, optical input, which is a much neater uh, uh, way to present this than, than uh, obviously what I'm holding in my hands here. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Um, thank you for coming to speak to us. We wish you all the best. It's um, a pleasure. Thank you very much indeed. That was Halo Surround, um, our most recent product pitch on the international news stage. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more new products.